I praise the Lord for everything he's shown me this year. If it is his will, I pray that I would have many more years on this earth to share my faith with others, to enjoy my marriage, and be mother to my children. But I finally understand that that time is not promised. This past year, Luke 12, 20 came alive to me in a new way. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? This life does not last. Last August, when Teddy, was te when Teddy tested positive for Fabre disease, I was blessed with the opportunity to experience the most profound fear of my life so far. I say blessed because during the rounds of confirmatory tests following that first phone call from the pediatrician, God showed us where Matt and I had come to expect things for our family that he'd never promised. For example, we aren't promised that we'll one day be able to move to our dream home in the country, uh, far away from specialists and treatment centers. Um, we aren't promised bodily healing, and we aren't promised that we'll be outlived by our children. But we are promised that if we repent of our disbelief and in humility lay our lives at his feet, we can inherit eternal life. We'll be reconciled to God and we'll be able to spend eternity with him. God used the fear and grief I felt in the wake of Teddy's diagnosis to wake me up and to really show me that my hope and comfort shouldn't be in the fleeting enjoyment of this life. He used it to grow me in faith and showed me just how much I can trust in him to provide for us. Weeks of doctor's appointments during a pandemic and we've never struggled for childcare. And that's just one of the many, many ways that he's provided for us and met our physical needs during this time. It's hard to describe the freedom, relief, and joy that accompanies that knowledge. It's easy to lose sight of that joy when I hold on to my plan and what I think is best for my family. But I know that God works all things together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. I can truly be thankful in all circumstances and rejoice when I face trials of all kinds because the Lord uses them to refine me and make me more like Jesus. He is the only one who can give my pain and grief a purpose. Two precious souls have been entrusted to my care, souls that God created and loves even more than I do. He knows every choice my boys will make, and he knows ultimately whether or not they will come to know him. I can't control my children, but I've been given the power of self-control through the Holy Spirit. I'm blessed with the opportunity to stay home full-time with these children, and I've become acutely aware of what a huge responsibility that is. Day after day, Owen and Teddy have the chance to see how a Christian lives. They have the chance to observe how someone who has received God's perfect grace and mercy pours that out on others. God has shown me that there's no hiding in full-time parenting. There's no taking a breather when I spend almost every one of my children's waking minutes with them. When pressed during stressful moments, what is truly in my heart comes out. I may not be able to control my children, but I will influence their decision when they are one day responsible for counting the cost of following Jesus for themselves. I was diagnosed with Fabre a few months after Teddy. The genetic counselor told us that because of the nature of the disease, they couldn't tell us how mild or severe it would become. Every individual's illness looks different, and because it's so rare and not well understood, predicting the future is impossible. Over the past year, God has taught me how to praise him and thank him, not despite my circumstances, but because of them. I'm so thankful that God has allowed me to personally walk through this diagnosis with Teddy. I'm deeply thankful for the opportunity to show my sons what it means to trust in and lean on the Lord through uncertainty. I'm thankful for the chance to grow in faith and see more of my heart, and I thank the Lord for how slowly, in his patient mercy, he shows me that heart so I don't become discouraged by how incapable I am of modeling his perfect love for my children on my own. I'm thankful to know that if I ask in faith, he will give me the wisdom and love through his Holy Spirit. I can ask for the perfect wisdom described in James 3, 17, that is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, 
full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. I need him to fill my heart with 1 Corinthians 13 love that is patient and kind, does not envy or boast, does not insist on its own way, is not easily angered, keeps no record of wrongs, does not dishonor others and is not self-seeking, so that when I am pressed during the trials of this life, my children will see God reflected in my actions. We are told not to boast about tomorrow, for we do not know what a day will bring. I don't want to waste my life caring for the gift more than the giver, and every breath is truly a gift from God. The purpose of this time is not to remain alive forever. It is to first be reconciled to God through the shed blood of his Son, and then to make disciples of all nations, and this starts at home. There is so much joy for me in knowing that I've been blessed with the opportunity to share the most precious gift I've been given with the people that I love the most. As a mother, I've learned that the nice things can distract from the main thing. The true blessing in parenting isn't filling a baby book with timely milestones or passing along our favorite childhood recipes or roughhousing with them or spending a sunny day at the beach. Those things are nice, but as it turns out, I wasn't actually promised that I'd be able to do any of them either. The blessing is that I can share Jesus, the treasure of my heart, with my children and live out God's radically different love for them. God allows Matt and I, as parents, to offer our children the kind of lasting joy and hope this world simply cannot give them. Thanks for listening.